eggnog tonight? Well, yeah, there is. Yeah, we should make for a fun night. Kid. Oh, there they are, there they are. Happy holidays, gentlemen. How are we doing? Good to see it. This place is great. You see the uh, fireplace over there? Is that real? Is that fake? Let's do that fireplace. Let's get that thing going. What the hell are you wearing? What, this? You get that? What's that? It's a uh, dashiki? Yeah, yeah, this is a dashiki. See the stitching on this? It's this craftsmanship. Look at that. Why? Why are you wearing a dashiki, Tom? That's what people wear when they celebrate Kwanzaa. Guys wear dashikis. Women wear caftans. Oh, I won the sweetest koofy from eBay the other day. I don't want to show up till Tuesday, though. Whatever. No. What do you mean, no? He means no. He means you don't celebrate Kwanzaa, you can't wear a dashiki, you look ridiculous. This isn't happening. Uh, you know what? No. You guys always do this to me. Every single time. Whenever I get excited about something or want to try something new, you guys always just give me a hard time about it. You, you know, we give you a hard time because you never think things through. Right? We always have to come in and pull your fat out of the bacon. Wait, what? Remember that time I had to bail you out of jail? Because you decided you wanted to give away free candy out of the back of your van? That was just, that was a simple misunderstanding. That's all that yeah. was. I challenge you to find a better vehicle in which to transport a ton of candy than a van. You won't find one. Let's move on. It's ancient history. Oh, okay, alright. Uh, what about your 9-11 themed restaurant? Oh, come on. You say it like it's a bad thing. That was gonna be tastefully done. Proceeds were gonna go to families. We were gonna help people. Oh, wait, wait, what was the slogan again? Oh, that was the best yeah, part! Yeah. Ground zero for fun in a meal you'll never forget. Really? Yeah, really. Okay, alright. What about the Hitler mustache? Yes. Oh, that? That had nothing to do with Hitler. I, I had a date with a lovely lady, and I had a zip the size of Krakatoa coming up under my nose. So I grew the mustache as camouflage, that's all. Wait, wait, wait. Your mom's friend does not classify as a lovely lady. You never met Beatrice. Uh, wasn't she your lunch lady in middle school? Oh, she? She knew how to cook all right. Oh, no, yeah. no. All right, fine, yes, she was the lunch lady. She was the cool lunch lady, though. That's something. No, guys, this is years later. Nobody's talking about the zit. You guys are only talking about the mustache. So I think it's pretty obvious who's on the right side of history here. You know, just let me have this. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful shirt. And it's a, it's a holiday about community and about identity. It's, it's pretty you know, nice. I don't, I don't think Kwanzaa has anything to do with your identity, Tom. Gotta go there, don't you? Anybody can celebrate Kwanzaa, you know? I mean, sure, yes. It does happen to have an Afrocentric focus. You just have to close, don't you? Who wouldn't? Look at these things. Did you see the back? Look at the back. Tell me you wouldn't wear this. Look at this. This is beautiful. So, so what we're saying here now is that everything you know about Kwanzaa, you read in Wikipedia. Fair. Great, but you know, this is pretty offensive to anyone who actually celebrates this holiday. You know, Chris is absolutely right. I'll tell you what, if you drop this whole Kwanzaa thing, take off the dashiki, I will buy you a flat screen television for Christmas. Forty inch? That's what it takes. Get yourself a deal. Yeah, you know, uh, you guys might be surprised to learn that Kwanzaa doesn't really have much of a gift exchange aspect to it. Yeah, you know what, I'm not surprised you looked into that, sure. Okay. Yeah. Why don't you, uh, grab some eggnog, buddy? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Oh, yeah. You know, well, this is a great shirt. Kind of itches a little bit around the neck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I do. Uh, you're not gonna give him a... Oh, yeah. No, no, he can't hold his liquor. A couple glasses of that eggnog, and we'll forget all about this. When he passes out, we'll pull the dashiki off his back and just drop him in his front yard. It'll be like it never happened. Happy holidays, Chris. Happy holidays. Boot!